Psalm 131 Lord my heart is not haughty nor my eyes lofty neither do I concern myself with great matters nor with things too profound for me surely I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with his mother like a weaned child is my soul within me O Israel hope in the Lord from this time forth and forever Psalm 132 O Lord O Lord remember David and all his afflictions how he swore to the Lord and vowed to the mighty one of Jacob surely I will not go into the chamber of my house or go up to the comfort of my bed I will not give sleep to my eyes or slumber to my eyelids until I find a place for the Lord a dwelling place for the mighty one of Jacob we heard behold we heard of it in Ephrata we found it in the fields of the woods let us go into his tabernacle let us worship at his footstool arise O Lord to your resting place you and the ark of your strength let your priests be clothed with righteousness and let your saints shout for joy for your servant David's sake do not turn away the face of your anointed the Lord has sworn in truth to David he will not turn from it I will set upon your throne the fruit of your body if your sons will keep my covenant and my testimony which I shall teach them their sons also shall sit upon your throne forevermore for the Lord has chosen Zion he has desired it for his dwelling place this is my resting place forever here I will dwell for I have desired it I will abundantly bless her provision I will satisfy her poor with bread I will also clothe her priests with salvation and her saints shall shout aloud, aloud for joy there I will make the horn of David grow I'll prepare a lamp for my anointing his enemies I will clothe with shame but upon himself his crown shall flourish Psalm 133 behold how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity it is like the precious oil upon the head running down on the beard the beard of Aaron running down on the edge of his garments it is like the dew of Hermon descending upon the mountains of Zion for there the Lord commanded the blessing life forevermore hmm Psalm 134 behold bless the Lord all you servants of the Lord who by night stand in the house of the Lord lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you from Zion Psalm 135 praise the name of the Lord praise him O you servants of the Lord you who stand in the house of the Lord in the courts of the house of our God praise the Lord for the Lord is good sing praises to his name for it is pleasant for the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself Israel for his special treasure for I know that the Lord is great and our Lord is above all gods whatever the Lord pleases he does in heaven and in earth in the seas and in all deep places he causes the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth he makes lightning for the rain he brings the wind out of his treasuries he destroyed the firstborn of Egypt both of man and beast he sent signs and wonders into the midst of you O Egypt upon Pharaoh and all his servants he defeated many nations and slew mighty kings Sihon king of the Amorites Og king of Bashan and all the kingdoms of Canaan and he gave their land as a heritage a heritage to Israel his people your name O Lord endures forever your fame O Lord throughout all generations for the Lord will judge his people and he will have compassion on his servants the idols of the nations are silver and gold 
the work of men's hand. They have mouths, but they do not speak. Eyes they have, but they do not see. They have ears, but they do not hear. Nor is there any breath in their mouths. Those who make them are like them, so is everyone who trusts in them. Bless the Lord, O house of Israel. Bless the Lord, O house of Aaron. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi. You who fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord out of Zion, who dwells in Jerusalem. Praise the Lord.